Looking to get that restaurant quality steak on your Weber Q? I'm gonna show you a quick and easy tip. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. video today there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products make sure you check those out at the end of this video. One of the biggest things to cook on your Weber or your barbecue are steaks. Now if you want to get that perfect restaurant quality steak you might be doing it wrong. Now you can do this with porterhouse steak, you can do this with scotch fillet, you can do it with any steak you like. The quicker you learn this tip the quicker you're going to get that restaurant quality steak. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Most people take their steaks out the fridge, leave them out. Now, whether you leave them out for 10 minutes, half an hour, it's not gonna make much difference to the temperature of that steak. I have tested this and I have shared that in another video. The biggest tip I learned from a chef was with your steaks, don't just salt it and then put it straight on the grill. The biggest enemy to your steaks is moisture and you wanna keep that moisture in the meat. So what I'm gonna show you now will shock you. So we'll grab our steak out of the fridge and I'll demonstrate. Well, so today we're gonna to be using a porterhouse steak. Now the best way to do this is I'm gonna show you today and a lot of people do this wrong. So first up, we're gonna to wanna to salt our steak. Now you can do this whether you're gonna eat it that day or whether you're gonna eat it a couple of days later. So we're just gonna salt it lightly. Okay, I'm just gonna tap that in. We're gonna do the other side. So that's the first side we salted, and we'll get this in the fridge and we'll eat it for 10 minutes. Right, so our steak's been in the fridge now for 10 minutes, so let's take it out and see what's happened. Right, so I'm not sure if you can see now, but you can see all the moisture on that steak. Now what the salt does is it draws all the moisture to the top of the steak, so you don't wanna put this straight on the grill when you've salted it, because you're drawing all the moisture out straight away. So you might see it better from above now, but you can see all the moisture here as well. So the best thing to do with your steak is when you first get your steak, you wanna get in the fridge and you wanna get some air around it and you can salt it straight away because what's gonna happen, it's gonna draw all that moisture out and you want at least 45 minutes for that moisture to go back into that steak. So we're gonna put this back in the fridge for at least another half an hour and you'll see the results when we take it back out. So now our steak's in that fridge. So we're gonna leave it in there for at least 45 minutes. Now, if you've bought your steak, you can do this two or three days before. The idea is to get your steak, take it out of that plastic bag, get that air around it, and salt it a couple of days before you're gonna have it. The longer that salt has to penetrate that steak, and it will draw that moisture out, but then the moisture will have a chance to get back into that steak before you cook it on your grill. That steak's been in the fridge for around 45 minutes total, so we'll just take it out and see what's happened. As you can see from that steak, all that moisture has returned back into that steak now. Put this straight on the grill, there's gonna be no moisture evaporating. Right, so we're just gonna season our steak with some olive oil, some fresh ground pepper, some garlic powder, and some onion flakes. And then we'll just repeat that on the other side before we get it on the grill. And now our steak's nicely seasoned, we're gonna place it on the grill.
right, so we just took our steak off. We've got some nice grill marks on there. So we'll let it rest for around a minute or two and then we'll slice into it and give it a bit of a taste test. Now don't forget everything you can use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that quick tip. And as you can see, that steak came out the perfect medium. As long as you've tried your steaks this way, you'll never cook them any other way. They just taste superb. And you've got that perfect restaurant quality steak from your Weber grill. Now if you try this method at home, let me know how you get on. Whether you like your steak medium, medium rare, comment down below. I'd love to know how you like your steak and whether this video is helpful for you. So again, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Kiss a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you the next one.